Yo, what's up, boys? This is between me and Heretics. 2 0 in Carmen Corp and qualifying us for the playoffs. This game was really big as now we're a top four in Europe and one win away from qualifying to Master Madrid. If you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for enjoying the video. But Reigns will be playing a Romoli Steel once again. I don't think there were any issues uh, of that the last time uh, they did this. And I think uh, Panitech also uh, filling in the Aww, team. They look great. I will say that. Here comes Team Heretics once again getting back onto the stage. The first time we saw them, it was all about whether they could exceed expectations from last year. And they did just that. And today they are so excited for this one. It's a battle of underdogs, but in the upper bracket. And what an incredible game and start to the season this has already been for Heretics and Casey just the other day. Now we're kicking it off in the big leagues, a chance to push through the playoffs. This is split, and somewhere you're going to imagine there's going to be a lot of comfort. Benji Fishy, though, could be made uncomfortable by that Yoru already. The decoy bought some space for a dash out, and that's given them a ton to work with, except the rest of the squad a little late out of the choke point. Good flash coming through, and the trades stay even. That snake bite slowing down the squad as the spike is irretrievable and now a big fight to be had as Shin emerges from the smoke but heretics were waiting mini boot already coming under pressure again it, it's similar to what we've seen for both these teams in the past just moving as a death ball trying to trade out effectively and do as much damage as possible now it's a good idea trying to catch players off guard but you can see not much to be found you this is it, you know, the hope being that those players saw the presence and moved back, but they haven't. They're still very much in position, and after the stun, damage is done. Rian's only good for one, but 10 seconds left. They have to quicken the pace on the way through. Cosmic Divide gives a safe haven to Boo, and the nade will slow them down even further. Blast Pack to ensure that no plan can be found, and the time is already too far gone. A gorgeous round from Team Heretics as they let KC play against the clock. Or to how much degree that plays like in, or Casey not baiting util. Oh, time is going to be everything. Showstopper is available, might not even be needed. Benji has managed to get two. Well, from the grave, Miniboo has got a couple of their own. Heretics, I, I love this. They're not just sitting back and waiting for their opponents to come for them. As said, like with the composition they have, They've got a lack of information other than that of Benji, so they're just going looking for it. Yeah, there's a lot to work with. That stun has done a bunch. Rianz is pushed out of position, but they're not there yet. Only now making it to the site with 15 seconds left. Still a trap up that they're going to walk right into. Free wall bank for Benji. He's just biding time on the site, but he falls eventually. Left. And with Rianz out of play, there's no denying that. That plant is coming through, and instead the retake has to come on. Yeah, they've got to be careful not to overextend, but with two players in the close player cubby, standing. you have to think there isn't much of a chance. Magnum even just looking to support. Takes a lot of damage, but Boo needs to get a move on. Doesn't really have oh. much time left on the clock to play with. Needs to get on this almost immediately, and Magnum's just going to go running straight through. No fear, but a lot of damage taken. At least KC have a round. Timing's gonna be everything. He's got him, surely. It's actually gonna be facing the other way, but it doesn't matter. Shin was looking for that, still loses the battle. The same can be said for Thomasy. He's now watching and he will win that from above. Narei even gonna pop his ult. There's a chance for a lot of damage, but he gets absolutely nothing for it. It doesn't matter with the spray down, but Rien's has found two, make that three. Now Thomasy outside the site. They already knew where he is, but he's been revealed and he can't do anything from this position. He needs to find a kill. Rien's the man sat. Back at home right now has pulled out a worldie. Yeah, financially things aren't in a great spot for Heretics either. Whether they go for this or not is really up to them. Thomasy weighing on the close angle. The nade is going to put them in such an awkward spot. Now Benji left, 82 HP, three players to find, and not a lot of time to do it. Would need to hit something pretty quickly. Does manage the first, but the other two players are wrapping round behind him together. He's actually predicted it for the trade is good. Again, a very close round, but this time one that goes to KC. And as said, financially now, things start to look a little bit troublesome for Heretics. Planted. All the spikes planted now for sure. KC seem to have a great spot to play from. A lot of information. They can push up ramp towards heaven. Nobody was spotted. Rianz is taking that space. He's ahead of the flash. And so is Vinny Boo. A quick double. And that's going to get the showstopper out of him. Damage done at least. Blast pack to push him out of position. And Mini Boo follows up. Rianz with another. It's flawless so far. And it might end that way. Magnum with his best attempt. And it was looking shaky. He got there in the end. But the upgrade's just to a pistol. He's stunned up. And he hasn't got time to gun up. That defuse already in. 
It might not be an Andalusia flawless, but you know what, Tom? It's it's seven to two, and they'll take that with the weapons they had. My God. Again, the heretics are just so patient. And for the side of KC, you're walking into a site left. that has two players within it, a third waiting to try and catch them on the cross. They haven't even seen Benji, who's just got a firing range in front of him. Tom, is he down to just one HP? There's not really much chance for him in this round. They've got 15 seconds. At, at this point, you almost have to die just to get that extra credits on the board. Maybe they can save that singular left. rifle, but they are not getting anything from this round. And Benji Fishy at the back site, an easy cleanup for him. As they now have their eighth, this defense looking stellar. It looks set to be a, a pretty hard retake for this squad. And with the showstopper left. still cocked and ready to go Planted. from uh, Narrate, this could be tough to get anything done, let alone this flank from Shin that, I mean, just a disgusting lurk. He's still able to have impact, of course, with those stars. Yeah, they've broken the trip at the back. Nade going through, showstopper still available. It can be popped at any moment, and to be honest, it's going to be used right now. Boo. What? Mini Boo! Absurd couple of headshots, and they know where the last man was. He was wrapping through from behind. He still has a grab well. And it is going to stop that defusal. Not to half yet either. So they have no idea where he's coming from. Shim just looking to wrap back around if he can kill the guy. Defusing is a chance, but Minibus just not missing. <laughs> Team Heretics looking for their double digits to be found. And they've got an A site wide open. And the retake for KC. Now, having used up all of that <laughs> utility early on, they don't have a ton to clear these angles. Instead, have to rely on individual prowess on winning aim duels. Minibu goes down after one. That's a good sign. Benji still lurking around. And they've got a decent idea where he is, as well as Boo still being so far away. They cannot even deal with the first man, let alone the rest. Team Heretics, 10 rounds on the board. They are looking uncontested on KC's map pick. If they heard a lot of players around mid, they go for something aggressive. If the players are a little bit further forward and that Seize catches them alongside the Paranoia and a Nade, they are all dead. You've, you've played a perfect round. Unfortunately, they're a little bit further back, a little bit more tentative on Heretic's side. And because of that, you got absolutely nothing. And as I said, you, you're running in, I think they had a Haunt and a, a Singular Flash. That was for the whole retake at a 5v5. KC are going to have nothing left if they lose this one. And ults aren't going to be online to bounce them back into it, Tom. This is where, if they've been feeling pressure so far, it just got a lot worse. Team Heretics arriving on site now and looking to make their way through to this A site. Heaven is theirs for free. Aftershock is down. It's going to force them towards the site. We saw this from KC. A reactive flash, though. It's not quite worked. They've not been able to connect the shots in the back of the util. Nice play, though. Narrate slows them. Nade in. It's a little late, but it might just get some damage. Maybe even the kill on Boo, no, he's out. 40 HP still, Benji holding oh! strong. Three quick kills, and another nail seems hammered firmly in KC's coffin. 12 to three, and Benji <laughs> is making it look easy. Well, that's the thing. That was one, after seeing like Benji play with the old roster, even in some of the off season, you do sort of question a little bit, like, is he going to have that individual ability when it comes to Valorant? Is he going to be at a high enough level to compete with these players. But right now, second of the board, he's had a fantastic game, and he's been popping heads all the way through. And while our last-ditch effort, where we've always given plaudits over to Eng and his coaching, if whatever he says here means they win nine rounds in a row, I, I, I think we just give him the champion's trophy now, because that <laughs> it would just be the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. In other words, I don't believe in the comeback. Well, this could be the last round of KC's map pick. A quick kickoff to the day. Not the one that the French fans expected for sure. Team Heretics now on their way through already, avoiding the damage. The flashes were good, but Tamazi not spotted in the corner. Narrate able to get a lot done before falling. And now Minibu got a lot of ground to recover. He won't make it out alive. And with 11 HP left, a godlike clutch from Panatech needs to come through. And with him not shooting it, maybe. They don't check this corner. That's his best chance. Great shot from Panatech. One more needed, but not this time. A lifeline for Carmine Kaur as they go 12 to 4. That's it. That's, a, that's the problem with being this far behind. They can just probably have two old dump rounds before this closes. And well, good luck to you winning even one of those. Mini Boo, the first to start punishing Shin for the betrayal in the previous. Now Narrate falls. The better raise stands strong. <laughs> Rocket up close. 
It looks like a shotgun in his hands, and it's deadly with three kills already. It looks like Mini Boos just booked them. A 1-0 start to the series. Martin's got a flash in hand. Good night, sunshine. Tamazi, the last man standing. One versus four. The world against him. My ultimate is ready. The youngster at least able to find one. But just look at the setup. He's got a peek in. He knew it was coming. Heretics, they're going to dominate map number one. And I'll be honest with you, Mitch. That was a completely one-sided match from Team Heretics. I don't know if any of us on the desk, well, at least I didn't, think that it was going to be this one-sided. I thought Carmen Core would have had a little bit better to show. And so one of these I think they'll be fairly happy going into this map. It's something that has clearly been played by them already and that they enjoyed. The thing I'll say is, if Heretics are picking it, they clearly feel like they can beat what their opponents are throwing at them. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, this is somewhere that if I was KC, I'd be a little bit scared. One of Team Heretics got locked and loaded for us. We'll see as time progresses, because we've already got those barriers up, and you can see an orb being tapped away at. Make their way through. Rian's already going to be able to find one, but it is just traded. Spike unable to make its way to the site, because they haven't yet cleared it. But with a luck, I was going to say a luck, I get to be, maybe they head that way. They can go wherever they want now, Mitch. They've uh, slaughtered everybody except Patatek. Yeah, and Patatek's a little late to the party, right? He's coming around just as most of the squad have left. As those steps are heard towards B, he turns his back. And that's how it ends. Very nicely handled by KC. A refreshed look at this squad coming into the pistol round. But there's plenty more to play for. They've got to keep it together coming into round number two. They're attempting to make Heretics play some over-rotations, overplay their hand to grab information. So far, that hasn't really come through. It's been pretty patient, similar to what we saw on the previous map from Heretics. Ooh. Okay, Martin straight through yeah. to give that fight versus Boo and Wall. That's, that's almost too easy for him. The thing is, it's one of those scenarios where he's almost faking things out on the other side of the map, holding a couple of players there as they look to run him. Panatek is waiting, but he doesn't win that fight. And oh, it almost falls onto Benji, but he just there's a missing today. Again, the headshot's being connected, and Shin left in no man's land. No heroics from the outlaw this time, Mitch. I think we've got a, a decent opening to this. I'm curious to see if one team is going to run away with it, because Heretics, they snowballed like crazy last map. Yeah. This is their pick, and as we get deeper into buy rounds and we start to see full kits of utility, full rifles, and even ultimates come online, Down. that's where I just have to give them in my head Remaining. that little bit of an edge to push through, and individually, they're already showing up. It's a fast-paced tank. Two players with a lot of utility available, ready and waiting to try and slow them down. And Benji has done well on the start. Oh, 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 oh okay. Shim from above has taken down the entire C defense. An excellent shrouded step. I think on the back of his own paranoia being thrown through, those players couldn't see a damn thing. And he capitalizes on that going up top, even avoiding. Oh, nice spam. Doesn't block the bullets. That's the real problem. Martin up close, he might have a chance to punish, it's huge! Martin's decimated this squad! Heretics now fighting from behind despite 9 and 1 HP respectively for Tamazi and Martin. This round is somehow not only winnable, it seems to be won. <laughs> Tamazi dealing the final piece of damage. Gorgeous stuff for KC. C and B, and while they're already getting the information off the Gecko utility of where they're going. Three players from Heretics waiting, snake bite down, and Martin not finding anything with the showstopper. It's looking a little bit worse for wear on the side of KC, but they've made it past the Viper util without going down. They push the players off the site. And they've grabbed space for a plant. Rien's firing from the low ground, and Tamazi's quick to punish. That is a big blow to the defensive retake. Although a head has been spotted, Benji's ready, and so is Miniboo. That's the ult online for Benji. The turret down to cover, and their back is already secure with Boo's position. This is a very tough position for KC. They've got a corner they can potentially hide away in, but it looks like Heretics are ready for it. Now right ahead, though. One second on the clock before he's detained, but he's bought enough time, perhaps, for Shin to clutch this out. Benji's just now retrieved a rifle, and the clock is still ticking away. He needs to find Shin, and he needs to find him soon, tapping to try and draw him out into the open. But Shin is patient. He doesn't think it's being... Oh, nice shot. He didn't think it was being stuck, but he swung just to check. Nice round from KC, and another big one from Shin. Weaponry on the side of Carmine Corp is not great. The one thing sort of padding things is again they've had that nightfall. Now bear in mind, last time they had nightfall, they went for a fast play into the seaside, completely direct, and put the pressure straight on to Benji.
Benji's been having one hell of a good game right now. I think he's got the same amount of kills the rest of the team combined. So if you are going to be focusing on anyone, I'd say Heretics would probably pick him right now. Having that Killjoy utility to play with, having the Poison Orb on C as well. But the rotations, but the head scratchers to how Heretics are this confident with essentially four players towards this C side. Granted, Miniboo's a little closer to B, but he's on his way. They suspect that this is where KC are taking it, and they were right. The shift was coming towards that side of the map. But KC on the previous map and here, they're showing us they do not mind playing it slow. They do not mind shifting direction. And that's, I mean, by the looks of it, worked out perfectly. Tom, this is a solo hold by Boo. Aggressively pushed up on A. And the next closest player is basically on the C side. Even oh. though they've taken down Magnum. It, oh, they got great as well. And now, now it really does just come down to, okay, we don't have the ult anymore. So that was the one major thing they had in this round to make it a bit more awkward. Sure, they found a free B site, but definitely the most difficult of the sites to hold on to. You really need to take some ground, get yourself into a position to play this after plant. Just stuck within the site. The main savior could be Martin, though. He gets the timing right, but it's right by Benji. Perfect. He couldn't have done any better in that scenario. Just turned around at the exact moment he needed to. And the only chance for that round to slip away is squished within a second. It's just lights out for Benji. He's come in here with a, with a mission, with an objective. An unbelievable start. I think he must be on, what, 11 kills now? Yeah. And for a Sentinel to be showing up like that, I mean, he might not even need Viper to hold the site with him anymore. Just slide him solo it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Attack's feeling it too. It's just Benji's game, and they need to shut him down. He's 11 to 4. Right now, he's pretty much put up three rounds for Heretics, and he's not showing any signs of slowing. Now, Boo's shifted up position. This is going to be a paranoia used right away. Straight down B. I thought oh! where's the paranoia? Oh! He just swung in and won the fights anyways. Mini Boo's too good. <laughs> Boo's just like, and I still had a paranoia to spare. He stood closer <laughs> for the smoke. I thought it was like, I'll smoke, then I'll paranoia. Mini Boo's like, no, I'll, I'll just I, swing it. I have already got two kills, and I am already dead. Said Peak B. I didn't hear when. He's got it back online for a retake later in a much safer position. He might not need it. Great spam by Boo. Just knowing the choke point and when they'd be pushing on in. Oh, and here he goes. Going again. Thrash is in and you're done. That's going to be a knife kill to close it out, surely. Did he just open he just shins face him. Oh, he, just, he just used the power. Like, Boo is just wasting credits just for banner. He literally paranoid him after he cannot it's move. It's the mind games, bro. It's the mind that games. Just, that's just rude. That's Don't let rude. him see it coming. And when you've got Boo in this position with a Vandal in hand, why bother? He's got a one-way smoke that they have to play behind. And even after they confirm he's far back, that the wall should keep him out, they still avoid going there. They're just too scared of this setup. In some ways, rightfully so, but the map control is too much. And Heretics always have a stack wherever KC go. At least two players. And look at the utility they're walking into. A Viper, a Killjoy who's having the game of his life. And then the reinforcements come through from someone like Mini Boo. Quick on his feet. This is a disaster. The shots are winning it for them. Benji's down to 16 HP. Uh, it's actually genuinely winnable. But there's only look 20 seconds Boo. left. And they've got to run straight into Boo. Great flash. That's won them the round. Unless now Ray's got one hell of a play. No, no, no chance. That, that's the thing. I, I feel like Boo is reading the, the script of the other team. He, he is so far in the heads of the opponent that he's able to take a control, have a player ready to rotate from B to C when they push it, and then when they try and rotate back, he's waiting on B going, <laughs> fancy seeing you here. Oh, wait. I wait. Another successful round for Team Heretics. They are looking unbelievable. Honestly, this Heretics roster, peck. Unreal. 4-1. This was 4-1 in favor of KC. And since then, it's been six rounds in a row. They used all of their ults. Everything, Tom. They used every single ult in that round. How many people are still alive? Was it three, four, four? The spike is miles away. Is this a fake? It is. The door opened, but it's not worked. It's no. not even come close to working. Patatech still on site. Benji is right there waiting for the cross. And the scrap on the back, the wall bangs are coming through. Shin's already 1 HP. There's so much to be done for this side, but Casey, a lifeline. Martin and the raid are low, but it's a 3v3 post plan. Spike planted. Maybe this time. Utility-wise, though, Paranoia is still available. 
Little Bro can get on the spike if they can get close. And on the other side of things, there's nothing in terms of utility just yet. Boo, so patient. If they look to go on the run, but Narate has done well again. Takes down Rians. A real opportunity here, but time is going to be everything. A chance for even a multi frag for Boo. And now Narate's the last man standing. The Boo brothers strike again as they will make this retake work and get themselves an eighth round, seven in a row. This is where you saw that defensive round where he just slid out and shot two people in the head. He's going to try and do that every round. Well, that smoke's going down towards B, allowing them to fight without the players behind helping. But, well, Team Heretics haven't left anyone behind. They're straight up in Casey's face. In fact, aggression going to be attempted oh, no. right afterwards with a nade in hand. Minibu has caught Martin, caught Magnum, and Benji Fishy's ripping the rest of KC to shreds. It's only Tamazi left, and not for long. That right there, and Andalusia flawless. Gorgeous play for Heretics, and the home stretch not far away. This Heretics team, last year, everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. Even something at the beginning of this year has gone wrong. Rian still hasn't made it to the stage. They've got a stand-in, of course, as well. Oh, wow. oh. Maybe, maybe he's all right playing from home. We've Rian's got Rian's at home. Yeah. That's the better model by the looks of things. And there he is, the man himself, Rian's. Someday he'll hey, grace honestly, the stage. Looks good today. He looks, looks, he looks fantastic. Slim. Looks slim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An eye test. I don't know if he's uh, what his diet's been, but uh, well, all handled. After plant in. Oh, completely unable to be retrieved, even if it was available. The fact is, though, they have been struggling. Yeah. Martin so desperately low, he almost has to go in as a sacrifice. Smoke available, but no flashes. So it's just going to have to be these dry peaks and with some aggressive positions, but more so some passive ones. Boo is so far back. They're almost trying to set up what seems like maybe a bit of a one-way. Already, though, it's gone badly wrong. Martin taken out, and already Panatek is going to fall, leaving things into this 2v2 scenario. Tomazzi's done amazing. 4 HP, but that time is ticking, and I think he took the player who's looking for that defusal. Shin just has to run away. That spike is going off. He aimed for Shin and threw the smoke, took out Tamazi, who maybe, I maybe could have just tapped that spike in time, but instead, he ends up getting nothing for all their trouble. Hey, it looks fantastic. And three ends more so than any, I mean, this guy is sensational. Another kill for Rians. The site opened up if they can deal with Shin, and he cannot get out of sight. Boo wins the Omen fight, and they've got a nice thrash to pick right back up. Again. Plant going down, Magnum in a one versus four. With but he's still got Boo and Benji Fishy, She's still two big players. You. Also, thrash, and he's on his way. He's caught a scent of Magnum, and he's hunted him down. They might not get there in time for the knife. They're going to try. Oh, they're going to try, but the weapons come out. <laughs> Unlucky, but in the end, one knife kill is enough for this game. 12 to four, Team Heretics with a lights out performance. And if they win this round from four to one down, they will have 13 Ford KC twice in a row. The consistency, uh, unbelievable. This seems about to get top four and kick off. If they win one more round, it will be a huge start for an incredibly young roster. Even Benji Vichy's only 19. And he's one of the older boys on the squad, one of the more experienced one. Mini Boo re ends the 18 year olds leading the charge in towards the site. A miracle needed from KC to try and turn this one around. Have they got ults? No. Have they even got weapons? Not really. They've got a little bit of utility to spare as they try and make their way back into this site, but the other side have been pacey. They've got plenty to play with. It's a foregone conclusion at this stage, realistically. Team Heretics need to make mistakes to give this one away. And there's one. No, Benji still gets the kill. <laughs> it's just getting away with sheer murder. The snake bite down will slow them some more. And now Decay, they try to tap it. Narrate firing back. He'll do damage. What? But Panatek's in there, shorty in hand. And it's Boo to deal the last bit of damage. 13 to 4, twice in a row. No doubt about who was the better team here today. And that's the thing.
coming into this season, Heretics as a top four bet was, I, I feel like lunacy. I don't think there was many people at all other than the players and maybe some Spanish fans who were believing that this roster would be this good this fast. Oh, yeah. That's the main thing. They have come in this season, as said, eight last season in the regular, last in LCQ, and they have already made it to top four. They are one match away from being a Spanish organization in Madrid. Now that is something that they can celebrate. Definitely not something most people would expect to see from this squad when they stepped on this stage just a few days ago, but now a step away from greatness. And already with the accolades they've accrued in this kickoff event are unbelievable. This roster, couldn't be much better. 13 to four, back to back in the upper bracket match. They're qualified for playoffs. And honestly, this Heretics roster, heck, it couldn't get better, but it might. It might, that's the real thing. They're gonna have some top opposition, whoever it ends up being, but they have done fantastic work today. And of course, for KC, still a chance to battle for the play-in. Yeah, Heretics were looking a lot better today than they were yesterday. They looked good yesterday, but today they looked great. And it came in the form of a lot of like individuality just came coming up. You saw them playing with a lot more confidence. They weren't afraid to swing things um, more regularly and, and try to take matters into their own hands instead of just like waiting to do stuff together all the time. And that was a little bit of a contrast from yesterday where they're always waiting for their team. Yeah, and what a time to be on form. We spoke about how brutal this competition can be. Uh, very often you can't afford to even have any mistakes. Shout out to Mixwa uh, as well. We have to say, as an organization, Heretics, they won first strike back in 2020, and then it's just been a really tough time for them. They couldn't quite uh, find the right recipes. And even for these five players, they have never qualified for an international tournament before. This is going to be absolutely crazy if they manage to do it. And Kakuka, may, may I remind everybody, we don't need to remind you, because okay. a Spanish <laughs> organization with a storyline like this, making yes. it to Madrid, it's almost too good.